going on everyone it's your boy DK Dynamite and today what I have for you guys is a review on Black Ops 3 Zombies so within this video I'm gonna talk about both Shadows of Evil and the Giant since I do feel these maps are extremely different from one another and I do feel the community has misjudged Shadows of Evil as well so let's jump right into it starting off with the zombie map that comes with Black Ops 3 shadows of evil so this is of course the 18th zombie map for call of duty taking place in the 1940s within the fictional morgue city as we are introduced to four new characters nero blackstone jessica rose jack vincent and floyd campbell they are transported to a nightmarish realm by the shadow man who is a supernatural being pushing for their repentance the map itself adds in a new variant of the zombie shield known as the rocket shield. We also have the new perca cola known as widow's wine. And we also get introduced to a new feature known as gobble gum. Now these bubble gums allow us to gain special one time abilities from a bubble gum machine across the map. We also have two new enemies here on shadows of evil, the margwas and the parasites. We of course also have Pack-a-Punch here on the map as well. So that was information based on the official description of Shadows of Evil. But in terms of the map itself, now the map itself is pretty tight, I would say. It's not your traditional zombie map. In my opinion, this is not a map that you can sit down, chill, and just play. This map is built specifically for the community to discover Easter eggs, follow steps, create buildables and this is a map for patience now the map itself i think is marvelous i love the characters the story is great it connects very well to the traditional zombie storyline within call of duty in general which i think is very important but treyarch also said specifically that shadows of evil would contain more easter eggs than any other zombie map that exists so when I see people say Shadows of Evil is the worst map in Call of Duty Zombies history, I feel a little offended because I think unless you've played the Giant, you simply won't understand what Shadows of Evil is. What I mean by that is, since this map is focused on Easter eggs and storyline and tutorials, you can't really sit down and enjoy a map like this by just trying to survive. When you play the giant, that's a map that you can literally just go on with your friends, chill and try to survive as long as possible. And the giant is of course a remake of the Reese, which I'll talk about in a little bit, but that's a traditional zombie map. Shadows of Evil is something different. This is a map for focus and a map that is deeply focused on the outcome of the zombie storyline and I think the reason why a lot of people misjudge this map and think it's garbage is because not only have they not played the giant to really understand the traditional zombies is still there but they also fail to realize that these zombie maps that are going to be coming out over the course of the next few months with DLC are also for the YouTube community and for the big zombie players out there who do focus on storyline and who do focus on finishing small easter eggs around the map. So yes, there are players out there who just want to sit down, play, and chill with their friends. But this map is not the map that you can do that on. And unfortunately, the giant is not free. So if you don't have a season pass, if you don't have a specific edition of Black Ops 3, then you're stuck with Shadows of Evil. But in terms of the map itself... I think once you get down to the bottom of the storyline, once you focus on building your swords, getting the Pack-a-Punch unlocked, you'll have a great time on this map. And I know for sure I judged this map a lot when it first came out. Before I started playing the Giant, I was thinking to myself, this was the zombie map that we all waited for? This was the true experience that we were waiting for on next gen? Until I came to realize that, look, the Giant is the map that the traditional zombies community wants to just go on and play while this map was built for specific players shadows of evil is for 
the MC Sports Hawks, the NGT Zombies, all those big YouTubers who focus on Easter eggs, focus on finding new secrets with the storyline. And once I began to understand what this map was really about, and once I gave it a fair shot with focus and determination, is when I began to enjoy it. So now, the way I see it, Shadows of Evil is for those times when you really want to play serious, do a nice stream, get your friends on, let's get an easter egg done, that's what it's about. But I can understand why an 8 year old, or even a 6 year old who just got the new Call of Duty, would say the map sucks. Not only is that person a little kid, but they also don't understand the difference between a traditional zombie map where you can go on and play and chill, get the high rounds, versus a map like Shadows of Evil that is solely focused on easter eggs, tutorials, and those kind of mechanics. So that is what Shadows of Evil is to me. I think it's a great map. I, I've just come to love it now and I think it's, it's worth playing. It's definitely worth playing. But now let's move on to a completely different map with a completely different vibe altogether, which is the Giant. So this map is of course DLC. You can only gain access to it if you own the season pass or if you bought a specific edition for black ops 3 such as the hardened edition or the juggernaut edition so the map itself is a remake of the reese and it takes place directly after origins which was of course the final dlc map within black ops 2. the map itself brings our traditional characters dempsey nikolai richtof and antakiao i think the map looks not only beautiful on the next gen consoles or i should say the current gen consoles excuse me and the pc but the map itself feels like the old school creepy durice that we all know and remember from world at war and of course the other remake from black ops 1. so the map itself of course features our traditional starting rooms teleporters monkey bombs our hellhound rounds and we of course have the return of the Wonder Waffle, which is magnificent. There are tons of strategies on the Giant, which a lot of people still don't even understand. There's a lot of strategies around the map in terms of staying on the catwalk, controlling certain areas of the map with your team, using the teleporters. And there are of course a couple of nice easter eggs such as gaining access to the Annihilator pistol for multiplayer on the Giant, which is sick. There's easter eggs where you can get another perk. And there's so many more. And I think that's also a lot of fun here on the Giant. So, also the Gobble Gum. This is something that is brand new to Zombies altogether, which I think was also a great addition to the game. As I said earlier, it gives us access to small one-time abilities, such as calling a fire sale whenever you want, such as a Perkaholic ability, which gives you all the perks at once. There's other ones such as anytime a zombie swipes you, they'll burn. There's so many great gobble gum options. And I think that the addition of them in zombies didn't change the experience in a bad way, but instead in a really good way. So as you earn your way up through the rounds and you continue on with your friends, you will earn serum, which you can then use on Dr. Monty's factory in the main menu of zombies, where you can then unlock rare gobble gums which can give you access to some of the best abilities you'll ever come to see and i think that's great and i think the gobble gum machine is a fantastic addition to zombies but the giant in general is like i said a map that you can literally just go on with any of your friends and just enjoy you don't have to focus on anything else but killing zombies and i know that's for sure what the zombies community wanted to see with black ops 3 zombies and that's why I understand why the people have reacted in a negative way to Shadows of Evil because of that reason. But I'm telling you, once you play the Giant, you will not complain ever again about not having a traditional experience. And Treyarch has also come out and said that upcoming DLC zombie maps will focus on the core storyline and it will be traditional just like the Giant is. Yet with the addition of easter eggs and ongoing progression with our characters, so on and so forth. But I think what Treyarch really means is that the next DLC zombie maps are not going to be what Shadows of Evil really is. So I guess that's a good thing for a lot of us out there who didn't enjoy 
Shadows of Evil, but I think it's great that Treyarch made it perfectly clear that there will be traditional zombie maps coming back. And even another remake in the near future, as they also teased. So, the Giant doesn't necessarily have a big easter egg, like Shadows of Evil does, but there have been hints by the zombies community that there is a somewhat big easter egg like we had on Origins. And a lot of people are still figuring that out to this day, so I'm still looking up information online to see if there is a big Easter egg out there that we haven't discovered yet. So hopefully in the near future we'll find one. If not, the map itself is still great as it is. The Reese also didn't have a big Easter egg from World at War and Black Ops 1, so I wouldn't be surprised if there isn't a big step-by-step -step Easter egg which takes hours on the Giant. But yeah, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about both. Shadows of Evil and the Giant. I think both maps are fantastic. They both portray Black Ops 3 as a new era for Call of Duty. And I think they both deserve 10 out of 10s, hands down. They're just beautifully crafted maps. And hopefully the Giant becomes available for a separate purchase as a microtransaction in the near future. Until then, you have to have the season pass or you have to have an addition of Black Ops 3. So to sum it up, both maps are great, but one map is for specific players, and so is the other one. Shadows of Evil is made for the zombie players who specifically want to go on, focus on easter eggs, focus on steps, and take your time. The Giant is a traditional zombie map where you can just survive and enjoy and kill those zombies. That's the difference. But thanks for watching everyone, this has been DK Dynamite, and stay tuned in for some more Black Ops 3 gameplay coverage and of course the latest news. I will be starting up my Zombies Tips and Tutorials mini-series once again here with Black Ops 3 in the next couple of days. I'll be having plenty of tutorials regarding lots of different mechanics on Shadows of Evil and on the Giant of course. Stay tuned in for that, and peace out YouTube.